Hi, welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill, and here I have with me Jerry McCaleb, Mayor of City of Grand Haven. Welcome. Well, happy to be here. Thanks for doing this uh, information piece for us. You're welcome. Thank you for being on the show. So first question is, we're going to talk a little bit about the infrastructure. Tell me uh, what is that and the state of what it's in. Well, the infrastructure is, is, is the, the roads, the, the sidewalks, uh, and all that, all that structure that's underground, your water mm -hmm. line that comes into your house, the sewer line that takes stuff away from your house. And uh, that, that is that a, a lot of stuff that you, you, know, you don't see. Sure but you really need it to be in good working condition to be, you know, to be a great community. So it's something that we've felt was very important uh, for our, the health of our community to make sure that it's in good shape. And, and so it's, what kind of state are we in right now? Well, we're, you know, we're, we've been working on it for the last, oh, over 10 years, but it, there is still, we still have a long ways to go. On a, on a scale of one to 10, we're probably at a four. Okay. Uh, statewide, but but you know we're not alone in that. In that we're you know we have a lot of work to do because the the rest of the state, the rest of the nation, is really in the same condition as a lot of this infrastructure was put in. You know, 40, 50 mm -hmm. years ago, uh, it has a lifespan, and a lot of the infrastructure is coming to the end of its lifespan or has outlived its lifespan, and so it's imperative that we take care of. All that stuff that's beneath beneath our streets, beneath our sidewalks. Sure, it's, a, it's and, kind of the things that we take for granted. Yeah, the sure. stuff you don't see. It's kind of like you know, you've got your body, and underneath your skin is a skeleton mm -hmm. and blood vessels and <laughs> and all that stuff that makes everything work. And and so that's the you know, your all cosmetic on the outside. Sure. Our houses look good. Our lawns look good. The stuff underneath has to look good too. Sure. And then what are we doing to kind of fix this? Well, we started back in '04 to take a really hard look at everything that, you know, what is the state of all of our infrastructure under the ground? And uh, it's all, 06 that we actually started building because it took that long to get a f full evaluation of where we were. We didn't want to do, do a street, one, you know, fix a street one year and the next year have what was under that street, like the sewer, the water lines, break mm -hmm. down. So we wanted to do a full, uh, full uh, evaluation of where everything was so that if, if the stuff under the under the street needed to be fixed we wanted to fix that before we fix the street so that was kind of our so that way we we maximize the the, the dollars the tax dollars that are going into this uh, we don't waste anything by fixing the streets and having something under the ground break so that was that was our first look as to what we wanted to look at was do we need full depth work all the way to water, sewer, mm -hmm. and street? Is it just street? Is it just water? Is it just sewer? And where do we start? You know, where where is the places that we need? You know, that that is the most serious. Okay. That we and and you know how do we pay for that? So yeah. that was all. Uh, and what is the value? Right. Talking about payment, what is the value of, kind of, the, of, the, of the infrastructure? It's hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. As you know, if you, if you take it all in total. Everything that's been built in the city over the years of the of the from the from the birth of the city to the expansion of the city and all that's been done. So, and as and especially as we look at today's cost to replace this, it's you know it's exorbitant. It's it's so it is and it's an ongoing thing. It's something we thought at the time that we could maybe well with ten years we'll have this done. Well, that's very you know we look back now and go that was extremely unrealistic. Oh. <laughs> It's an ongoing process. You never get done. We've been working on it for 10, 15 years, and the stuff that maybe was in really good shape 15 years ago is now 15 years older. Sure. So you can see that you're never really going to finish this. It's going to be an ongoing process, and we just have to keep working at it. Mm -hmm. And that's that's we you know we see as we're trying to figure out a way how to how to best pay for this over the long haul, and that it's always going to be there. It's always going to be an ongoing process. Sure. And it really falls on us to do it. It's not you know stuff you know people say well it's you know we can you know there's always promised money mm -hmm. but it really falls down to it's our infrastructure and we need to be responsible to fix it but it's kind of one of those things that you know when a community has great infrastructure it just makes it a better place to live well ex exactly and as we want to be that great place for our for our industry for our manufacturers and for our residents mm -hmm. because it's in order to to have a great community, you need a good you need good business. You need you need good uh, services for your residents who want them to live here. You need good services for your for your commercial districts and for your industrial districts because uh, it's just good business sense, uh, you know, for for those folks. 
And also, if we want to, if we want to draw, you know, good caliber people to come and work in our community, work in our businesses, and to live here, then you have to have good infrastructure because that's For part sure. of. Come on in Grand Haven because because we're take we're taking good care of things, and mm -hmm. it is kind of you know that's we're taking care of our city, and that's just part of the that's thing. That's perfect. That's what needs to happen. Absolutely. So, what are some of the things that still need to be done that are kind of work in the works? Well, you know, we've we've done a lot. We've we've done. Uh, of course, we did we did Sheldon as one of our first big projects. We did two years of Grand Avenue. That was a huge. Yeah. Uh, I knew that would be difficult because of the staging in, the, in that area. So that's that's a huge project that's been redone. Uh, Harbor Drive has had two different projects. Uh, the, uh, the last one, we're just we're not even quite finished with it yet. Uh, we did Waverly. We did on the in Old Town, the 6th and Adams area that we rebuilt. Beach Tree has had a lot of work done to it. Um, we've, we had, One of the big things that we did was we have, because with Beacon Boulevard running through right through the middle of town, there's a lot of infrastructure underneath there. And some of that was in pretty poor shape. We wanted to make sure that we didn't have any interruptions on 31 mm -hmm. by digging all that up. So that we have this, this uh, CIPP, which is clear, uh, cured in place, that we can line our sewers with this plastic. And it's, it's very, you know, that's, well, they're coming up with these great mm -hmm. technical things that you can do to, to, uh, to, to save a lot of money. Sure. You don't have to dig everything up. You don't have to pull it all out. You can just line it with, uh, with this, you know, plastic coating that they, that they shoot in there. And it, like I said, cured in place, mm -hmm. and and it lengthens the life of the infrastructure you have in there, those sewer lines, for many, many years down wow. the road. Makes them slippery again. It <laughs> fills in the cracks, and uh, and we didn't have to tear up the road. Nice. And, so uh, we can go on living without having all these things absolutely. that are like so you, yeah, you, you look at us. what new technology is out sure. there, so that it can save us money, make things easier, and uh, and have, have a good fix in the meantime. Perfect. Well, it sounds like you guys are on track. You've put a lot into it, but you're c continuing to improve the infrastructure of, of Grand Haven. Yeah, you know, this year, uh, 2019, is uh, North, uh, uh, North Shore Drive is going to be redone, and mm -hmm. that's been a long time coming. And, uh, and also, and then in 2020, we're going to do Fulton, uh, a section from Beach Tree, I think, to Albee. So okay. that's, that's in the works also. We're having the money put in place for that. One of the things we've been able to do is you know we have you know we've used our own money, but we've always been able to leverage our money uh, get with uh, through grants or uh, you know tip programs, uh, you know anything that we can do to leverage the money that we have. We've spent uh, we've spent close to forty million dollars, and um, and more like about half of that has been wow. money other than our own that we've been able to get through grants or other you know mm -hmm. other processes. So being so, good stewards of the tax money. Absolutely, and, yeah, we, we're, you know we we always have that match. And, but we've also been very good at getting, you know, writing grants and having even our uh, our engineers uh, alert us as mm -hmm. to, hey, this this uh, this program is available or that that grant is out there, so let's go for that. They've helped us, you know, get some of those, Great. and so that has been really good for us. So we've been really been able to leverage the taxpayer dollar to a huge extent, and we, you know, plan on keeping on doing that. Good. So. Well, I thank you very much for being a part of this show. We're out of time. Oh. But, uh, yeah, thanks for being All here. Right. Thank you for telling everybody about the infrastructure and kind of what's going on, what has been done, and what the plans are for the future. All right. All right. Well, thank you for very watching much. Community Connect.